I remember when the bill was denied. People were screaming. Our homes were saved. Can you imagine? Pure joy. But short-lived. A year later, in 1825, a bill was passed for the construction of the docks. Papers published how our homes looked dilapidated and the inhabitants not fit to live in the area. I wouldn't mind, but most of us are decent people, hard-working, grateful for our community. Near 3,000 people lived here. All of us left homeless. I say all. A small few profited from the build, moved to Regent's Park. Even the coffins got moved to another parish. But what about us? When did capital gain replace community, eh? When did the needs of the people come second? Oh, we'll survive. We have to. But I hope they learn something from this. They were good to us once. Old Kate. How can St. Catherine's remain in Regent's Park, estranged from its ancient home of East London? In this year of 1866, St. Catherine's is far away, well out of East London, where it was placed by Royal Commission to attend to the needs of the people of East London, which it now does not do. Parliament is exercise of power that it did not have to demolish this royal hospital which by rights should be under the protection and patronage of the Queen. In the absence of the Queen, Parliament, blinded by commerce, has demolished this foundation. Blinded by this and hard-heartedly dispersed the population of St Catherine, dooming them to homelessness, all in the name of industry. Not only this, they gave St Catherine a mere part of the profits from the sale of this land. I would remind you, St. Catherine's is to be a place of hospitality, a place of prayer, a place of worship. The East End, for a great long time, has enjoyed the care of St. Catherine's, which it is now denied. For St. Catherine's is a mere shadow of its former self. In far off Regent's Park, it serves the East End of London in no way. It serves only itself, and few who really are in little need of its service. It is time to be reminded of what St Catherine's really is, that it might be restored to what it truly is, an ancient spiritual order that is there for the hospitality of those that need it. It's time that St Catherine's returns to the East End of London, that it might once again start a pattern of worship and prayer that may benefit the people of East London. In 1948, Queen Mary helped that come true and St Catherine's returned to the East End of London. On the site of a bombed out church, once again, that pattern of hospitality, prayer and worship was continued. <laughs>